Hello everyone, welcome back to the Myers Talk channel and from this tutorial or in this tutorial we are going to see AWT controls one by one. So the first control which here I have took is a label. So regarding that, the constructor, the methods, these all the things we are going to discuss. The first control, AWT control, which is nothing but the class, which is nothing but the component of AWT, here I have took is a label. So before starting, just remember there are two types of component. One is the active and second one is a passive. Now what is the active? Now the user which interact with that particular Control. For example, whenever a text fill or text area, when I enter some name and name or password, it may be anything or address. So how I'm interacting with it, that means it is an active component. Now here label, if you think of a label, here we don't interact with it, user don't interact and hence the label is a passive component, passive control. Okay, now here we will see the constructor one by one. So here total three constructor are there of label. Now here as we know constructor is same as that of a name of a class, right? Now here in the parallel, the first one is a empty. So this will create a empty label. Empty label means there will be nothing in that label. Take it. Now here it will be nothing. Now the next one, if you come here, here if the parameter is one, but it is passed as a string. Suppose here I pass the string, suppose the name, then here it will be your label having the string name. Now the third one, if you come here, here contains the two parameters. Okay. Now the first one is a string as usual and second one is integer how. Now what exactly are the value of this how? Here, label dot left, label dot right, label dot center. That means as per our compatible, as per we want that that we have to pass here. Now what exactly, how exactly it works? Now suppose here is left, means label dot left. Now suppose this is a text field. Now if we use label dot left, then this will be at this side. If suppose you have used the center, then it will be here. And for right, it will be at this side, to the right side. But here, you have not passed integer how. This parameter is not there. Then by default, here is a left left how. Okay, so here by default, it will be left dot left justify. Label dot left justify. Okay, now moving to the next are the methods. Now here you see, you have not passed anything. Right, so here it will be the empty. Empty label will be there. So here, if you come here, by using the method, we can add or justify how and justify the string. So here are the methods of label, label class. So before going towards the method, for MCQ, just these are the very important. Remember this parameter along with that, this is also very important. What exactly is its signature? What is the return type? Now here you will come to understand. Here it is empty if you wanted to set the text. Here we will pass the text that we wanted on the label. And here, as here we will set, set text. Use of this method. Now the next one is string, get text. Now what exactly is here text that I wanted to get? I wanted to know what exactly is the text. So for that I will use this method, get text. Now the next one is set alignment. Okay, this is how is nothing but the alignment. Here I will set the alignment, an integer how. Here I will pass the alignment as per my requirement. Okay, so here the data will be word as usual. Now here I wanted to know what exactly is the alignment of the label. So for that purpose, I will use the get alignment. And what is the written type? It's the very important written type is integer. So this will return what exactly is uh, the alignment of my label. So this was regarding the label, this constructor and the method. Okay, now next we will see of button. Now we will see here of button which is the class which is the component which come under java.awt and which is a class of awt okay now here button regarding the constructor here button it contains two constructor and the two methods now what is the button button which contains a label and when the user press on it it generates the email as usually we know that sign in sign out these are the buttons so how exactly we are going to use so here first we will see the constructor the button here is an empty constructor. Here nothing is passing. A button will be 
nothing it will not contain anything now second one the constructor was string string is passed now suppose i wanted to pass the string uh, submit then submit it will be seen here it will will be visible here on the button now moving towards the method now here i have not passed anything right nothing is passed here so instead of that i can use a method and just see set level set the level is the method that means button contain itself a label it contains the label and when you just press on the this component on on the button it generates the event now here set label set label so here it will have one parameter string so here i will pass the string whichever i wanted this on button so it will set on this button now the second one is a string get label the return type is string so here what exactly is the name of my button it will return here string so this is regarding the button so now next we will see of checkbox